All right, this will be the first quiz for the face and the anterior neck. Um, just like the other ones we'll go through, we'll give you time to answer. When all the questions have been asked, uh, we'll tell you you can pause the video, give yourself some time to look over your answers, and then you can uh, unpause it and, and, and we'll go through everything together. All right, let's go to number one. Number one is to identify this muscle that covers over the anterior side of the neck right there. That's number one. Number two is here. If we start at the tip of the chin and we kind of come down this way, and we run into one, two, three little uh, bony features there. And for number two, we want to identify the third one right here. That's number three. That structure, that's right there. Number three, we're going to take this muscle, the one we identified before, we're going to move it out of the way. We're going to grab this muscle here. We're going to reflect that one as well. And here we uncover these two muscles. So I'm just going to tip the head up a little bit so we can kind of get these muscles to get near where they were before, right? So we got this one and this one out of those two. I want you to identify this muscle here, the one that's going obliquely across the anterior neck there. That's number three. Number four, in the same area, we're gonna take those two muscles we were just kind of looking at, and we identified this one, right? We're gonna take these and we're gonna reflect them like that. And I want you to identify this muscle here that we uncover, which goes from here up to here. All right, you can see if we kind of move that up a little bit, that's where it attaches, right there. So identify that muscle. Number five, we're now gonna take that muscle we just identified, we're gonna reflect it. And here, I want you to identify this muscle right here that we uncover. So that muscle, I'm gonna kind of outline either side of it, it's going in that direction there, like this, so it goes from here to here, this way. Identify that muscle. Number six, so we're gonna tilt the head a little bit like this, remove some of this stuff out of the way, kind of like that. And check the number again, number six, right, is to identify this V-shaped muscle that we can see. See, I can grab it here, right? I can grab it up there. See those things are connected to each other, right? Identify that V-shaped muscle right there. That's number six. Number seven is following that muscle that we just identified. If we follow it to its posterior part, that you can see me grabbing there, I want you to identify the muscle. Let's see how we can see this here, right? Let's get in between. Yeah, right there, you can see it there. So if we grab this muscle, that's the posterior portion of what we had just identified, and we can see right above it, we have one muscle that's located superior to that right there. I want you to identify that muscle, and I think if I move here, yeah, this one, here, identify that muscle there. Number eight. There's gonna be two parts to this one. So we're gonna have kind of 8A, 8B. 
and we're going to I'm going to lift up the head a little bit like this. And I want you to identify. Kind of hold this up a little bit here. That and like this, right? So we have this muscle, and I'm just going to let that fall for a second. We have this muscle that goes over the top of the head like that, and I'm kind of holding the two halves of that muscle together there. For 8A, I want you to tell me what this part of the muscle is called here. And for 8B, I want you to tell me what this part of the muscle is called back here. So that'll be 8A, 8B, the two parts of that muscle that go up and over the top of the head. Just back for a second. That's all right, number nine is here. Number nine, we want to identify this muscle that surrounds this area right here. Identify the muscle that surrounds that area right there. That's number nine. Number 10 is here. So we're gonna be in this area here. I'm just gonna grab the mouth right here. I'm gonna move it down just a little. And we wanna identify this muscle that I'm under. You can see I'm kinda of outlining it right there. That muscle right there. Identify that one. Number 11, here, just gonna lift this up a little bit. We're gonna take this fascia and just move it out of the way and remove this fascia as well. And we wanna identify the muscle that we uncover right here, right? So we can see it here. We can see that muscle passes this way. And if we take this muscle and just flip it out of the way, we can see where the muscle ends right down here. All right, so identify that whole muscle again, we can see it ending right there. All right, number 12. This is gonna call back to some of the ones we already did. So for number 12, if we go back to number two, which number two was we started here, we went down to one, two, three things. It was that third thing. That was number two. I want you to tell me what does number two landmark for us? If we have our finger right on number two, what information does that give us? What does it landmark for us? That's number 12. For number 13, you're going to go back and look at your answer for number three, number four, and number five. And I want you to tell me what group of muscles does three, four, and five belong to? That will be for number 13. And then for number 14, we're gonna go back here, back to number 11. And I want you to tell me if we're following number 11 the way that we did like this, I want you to name what is the bony feature that number 11 passes under right here. That's number 14. Okay, that's all the questions. So pause if you need more time. And when you're ready, unpause and we'll continue on. All right, so number one was Platysma here. Number two was that coming down here, find that third structure, and that was going to be the cricoid cartilage. We have hyoid, then thyroid, then cricoid cartilage. That was number two. Number three was let's move sternocleidomastoid out of the way. We had these two muscles here, these strap muscles on the neck, and we wanted this one that goes more obliquely here, and that is gonna be omohyoid. We have sternohyoid, the one that's more up and down, and we have omohyoid, the one that's more oblique, it was that one. 
number four was we took these two muscles, we reflected them, and we wanted the one that we uncover right here, and that is gonna be your sternothyroid muscle. That was number four. Number five was to take sternothyroid, reflect it, we uncover the thyroid gland here, and then we've also uncovered this muscle right here, so we'll kind of outline that, and that one was cricothyroid. That was number five. Number six was over here, kind of lift this up a little bit and we wanted to know what was this V-shaped muscle that we see here. And that was gonna be digastric. That was number six. Number seven is if we follow digastric posteriorly and we see this muscle, this one that I'm moving right there, that's located superior to the posterior portion of digastric, that was gonna be stylohyoid there. You can see a little bit better right there, like that, this one, stylohyoid. Number eight had two parts, 8A, 8B, eight and that was to identify here the muscle that goes up and over the top of the head, right? And that is your epicraneous muscle. The first part, 8A, was the frontal belly of epicraneus. Second part, 8B, was the occipital belly of epicraneus. Number nine was over here, and that was to identify this muscle that surrounds this area here, that's orbicularis oculi. Number 10 was we kind of grabbed the corner of the mouth. I drew this down a little bit and we wanted to identify this muscle right here. And that is the levator anguli oris. Number 11 was over here, remove this fascia, was to identify this muscle that when we followed it down here, we could see it end right over there, and that is temporalis. That's what we're on there. Number 12 was to go back to, want to know what does number two landmark for us. So number two was cricoid cartilage. And if we have our finger on the cricoid cartilage, you could either say that we are at the end of the larynx or the beginning of the trachea. It would landmark either one of those things. Let you know where the end of the larynx is and the beginning of the trachea is. Number 13 is what group of muscles does your answer for three, four, and five fall into? And that would be infrahyoid muscles. Those three are all in that category of infrahyoid muscles. And then number 14 was to go back to temporalis here, and we wanted to know what was this bony feature that temporalis is passing under, which we can see right here, and that is gonna be the zygomatic arch. That was number 14. That's it.